Hi, my name is Bahadur Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to solve a couple of problems on finding the orthogonal projection of a vector onto a line. Well, let's say now we are given a line using some vector a, and we're given another vector x. We would like to find the projection of this vector x, the red vector x, onto this line, which is associated with this vector a. Well, it is called the orthogonal projection, and the meaning of the orthogonal projection is that we are going to connect the line and the vector with this orthogonal line. And then we are going to draw this vector, this green vector, on the line. So this green vector is going to be called as an orthogonal projection of the vector x onto this line. And we are going to find this using the formula using the following formula. So obviously you can see here that this vector, the green vector and the blue vector are parallel. So these two vectors are parallel. And it means that I can obtain the green vector, the projected vector, by just scaling the a vector, by just making this shorter or longer. So we can see here, see this in the formula as well, we are multiplying the a vector into some constant, and this is going to be a constant and the scaling constant. We're going to simply multiply the a vector to some constant. So let's do a problem. So let's say you are given a vector x with a component minus 1 and 6 and vector a with the components 1 and 2, and I would like to find the projection, orthogonal projection of the vector x onto this line, which is parallel, which is passing through this vector a. In order to do this, we have to calculate, we have to just multiply the a to some constant, and the constant is going to be calculated in the following way. So first of all, I'm just going to multiply the a to the x as, an auto, as a dot product, so it means that I have to multiply minus 1 and 6 to the 1 and 2, and I need to multiply them component-wise and add the multiplications. So it's going to be minus 1 plus 12, well, that's going to be 11. So now we need to find the norm of the a and find its square. The norm of the a is found by just squaring each of its components. So essentially 1 in a square, 2 in a square, summing them and taking the square root. Well, that's going to be 1 plus 4, which is 5, and that's going to be square root of 5. And now we just plug in everything into the formula and find the projection. So the projection vector of the x onto the a is equal to a vector, which is 1 and 2, multiplied to this constant, which is 11 divided to the square root of 5. Well, you can multiply 1 and 2 into this constant. It's going to be 11 divided to the square root of 5 and 22 divided to the square root of 5. Well, that's going to be the orthogonal projection of this vector x onto this line. Well, sometimes your line is not going to be given with the vector right immediately. You're, you're going to be given uh, using the equation of a line. And, and in order to find the projection of a vector onto this line, you have to find, first of all, a vector which is parallel, which is lying on this line. So I think, so what you need to do is essentially you need to find the two points on this line and then subtract their coordinates, right? So they're one of the points. So first of all, find two points. Find two points on the line. So what you can do, how you can find the two points is that you can assign some values on the x and find a y from the equation. For example, if y is equal to the, uh, 0, I'm just going to substitute this into this equation in order to find the x. So 2x minus 0 is equal to the 0. So it means that x is equal to the 0. That's going to be one point. a was the coordinate 0 and 0. And the second point, in order to find the second point, for example, I can assign x to be equal to the 1 and substitute this into the equation of a line. And in this case, it is going to be 2 times the 1 minus y is equal to the 0. From here, we can find that y is equal to the 2. So the second point along this line is going to be is going to have the coordinates 1 and 2. Well, by just subtracting the a from the b, we can find a vector. So right, so I can subtract either a minus b or b minus a, it doesn't matter, and that's going to be the a vector. So the a vector is going to have the components 1 and 2. Well, this vector a is going to uh, lie on the slide. So again, in order to find a vector which is lying on the line, 
you can find the two points and subtract their coordinates. Well, now we are just going to substitute everything into the formula of the projection and find the, its components. So essentially, first of all, I'm just going to multiply the a to the x as a dot product. It's going to be 1 and 1, uh, 1 and 2, sorry, times to the 1 and 1. It's going to be a 1 plus 2, which is 3. And then I'm just going to find the norm of the a, which is going to be square root of 5, right? 1 in the square plus 2 in the square, which is 4 which is going to be square root of 5. And the projection vector now, the projection vector of the x into this line now is going to be equal to the a vector with the components 1 and 2 times to this constant, which is 3 divided to the square root of 5. Well, in this video lecture, we've considered how to find a projection, the orthogonal projection a vac of, of, of a vector onto the line when we are given this line as a vector or when we are given this line as the equation. Thank you very much. I hope that this was helpful for you.